Hello and welcome to another video on abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss query folding. Query folding is a feature where Power BI ensures that the query is rolling back to the source and we are getting the data from the source. So basically let me explain you the definition. Query folding is ability of Power Query. Query to generate a single query statement to retrieve and transform the source data. Power Query mashup engine strive to achieve query folding whenever possible for efficiency. So basically your query steps will be folded back to the source and you will get the transformation steps done from the source instead of getting them executed at the Power Query level. Now why it is important? import more tables data refresh will take place efficiently for import more tables so basically when you create this incremental refresh or data refresh it will be really efficient if the steps can fold direct query or dual storage mode if the query can fold it means the data can be coming directly from the source so you want to create some calculation and in direct query there is a only limited set of calculation which are supported and those are supported should fold at the source so we'll see some example now incremental refresh incremental data refresh will be efficient in terms of resource utilization refresh duration if the query get folded so basically if your query doesn't get folded the entire data will come to power query and then will get filtered which is not efficient so you say, okay, I want to get one month of data and replace it in the Power BI incremental ETL. And if it brings the entire data of two years and three years and then filter in Power Query, then it's not going to be efficient. So what we are going to do here is we are going to see how this query folding works and how to check whether query folding is work or not. So if you go down to this blog down, you can observe that on each step you have something known as view native query. If the view native query is enabled, it means the query is folding. And if it's not enabled, it is not folding. Sometime it is not folding, then you can go to the SQL Server Management Studio and from there you can look at the source query. What you can do is basically you can open the SQL profiler in case of SQL Server and can check if the source query is folding or not even if it is saying it is not getting folded or even when when it is saying folded so we are going to do that so let's jump onto the power bi so i'm here on the power bi and what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect with the sql server source i'll click on get data sql server and here i'm going to use local host backslash sql express I can use sales and let me say import and I'm getting the table. I'm interested in sales table. So let me click on that. After that, I have option load data or transform data. I'll click on transform data because I would like to go to power query to check whether the query is folding or not. And that's the place where we will be adding additional steps and checking that whether these steps are getting folded at the source or not. So let me click on transform data. I've already clicked on that. The power query has opened on another window and let me bring that window here. So I brought the power query to the screen. See on the right hand side, you see navigation. And if you click right click there on the navigation, you see view source query. It means the step is getting folded at the source. So let me do one thing. Let me add a new column here and see whether that new column is getting folded at the source or not. So I'm going to click here, custom add column, custom column, and I'll simply create a column, let's say gross, and gross is nothing but quantity star price. And I'll say, okay. So I'm getting here quantity star price, and is this getting folded here or not? you can see still it is getting folded and I'm getting the data from the source. Now let me try to change the data type here and let me say this is a whole number. And let me see is this step folding? This is not folding. So if you do like this, it 
it typically says it's not folding but i'll tell you the workaround you go here remove this you go to the add column in the add column itself you can give the data type as the next let's right click and see view native query and you can see it is still folding so always mention data type when you are creating this step so that it will fold to the source later on when you change the data type it may or may not fold now why do we need so in this manner you can see that the additional columns in the import mode are still folding at the source and we are able to get the results from the source the new calculated column is coming from the source so now let me take to the next step and in this step what i'm going to do here is basically i'll do my incremental setup so for that incremental setup one thing which i need is basically i need to change the data type of this column and the data type of this column should be date time and let me see whether this step is folding or not this step is still folding and see with the date Power BI tries to fold the change data type step back to the source because it knows for incremental ETL we are going to need it. So it successfully folded that. Now time has come that we create the setup what we do typically for the incremental. And what is that setup? We require parameters. So we go to the home tab and inside that manage parameters. You can check my incremental video what exact name you need. So I click on manage parameters I'll say new and I'm going to create a parameter which is name as range start and I'm going to give it as a data type date time and that I want to collect data from 2018 hyphen 01 means from January 2018 I would also like to add an end parameter which is nothing but range and and I'm I'm going to make this also as date time and let me give a value 2020 hyphen 12 hyphen 31st and my both parameters are ready let me say okay once my parameters are ready as a next step we go to the column where we want to have this incremental setup done we click on this down arrow near through the date then we go to the date time filter and we use custom filter option at the bottom here the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to say is after and equal to we can choose a parameter and I'm going to select range start the next is I'm going to say before and it is really important that you use strictly less than here on or strictly greater than one side both the sides cannot be equal to so one so I'm using equal to after so before should be strictly less than and this is because the way Power BI is going to create partitions for the incremental, they at one side expect it is less than and if one side is equal to. So always remember one, both the sides cannot be equal to. So it is after equal to or before equal to one of the side you can have it. Again, I'm going to choose a parameter and that parameter is going to be range end and let me click, click OK. Now I get a filtered row step on my right hand side and I need to check whether this step is getting folded at the source or not. So I right click and I can still see view query and this query is getting folded at the source. Now same way when you go ahead and do the incremental step setup that the query will continue to fold at the source. It means it's going to bring less and less data every time we run the incremental refresh. So let me click on OK. But what I'm going to do is I'm also going to open a SQL profiler here. This is my SQL profiler and let me clear this off. So I've cleared my SQL profiler window and let me go ahead and refresh. And as you can see, we can see so many things running at the SQL profiler and let it get completed. As you can see, this batch starting and batch completed you. So in the SQL Server Profiler, you can see that the query is getting folded. This means the query folding is happening here. Let me clear this window as of now. I'm back to the Power BI. So we know in import mode, we are able to do this. How can we do it in direct query mode? So let's create a direct query connection. So I'll say new source SQL Server I'll say localhost 
slash SQL express and database is again sales and we say direct query and we say OK. Again we select the sales table and we click on OK. Now we got a sales table too, pretty much fine with that. So now we would like to add a column, new column and see whether we are able to fold that step back to the source or not. So we go to the add column, custom column and we create a new column which is gross and that is quantity multiply by price and we click on OK. And if we go here you can see view native query and this step is getting folded at the source. Now we would like to take an example where we have this thing as a query can we fold it. So let's go back create another connection say new source SQL server and we will say again local host slash SQL express and database is sales direct query and we say here select star from sales dbo dot sales and let's see does it work so it shows the query we set it up it gives us the query and in this query now let's try to add the step so we go ahead and now add another column so we got the direct query with the select statement and now we would like to check whether we are able to fold this or not so to do that what I'm going to do is again to check this to check whether the query is folding I'm going to add a new column and I'm going to add a gross column to this query and the gross column is nothing but quantity multiply by price and as you can see switch to import mode this cannot fold now the way to do it is basically you need to have a very similar connection like this which will be able to do this for you so I'm going to tell you a step how can you do that so to do that let me duplicate the way we were getting this table so I'll duplicate this now in the very first step here so I need to change this very first source step so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write down here before this one value dot native SQL parenthesis start and then let me have this connection SQL database as is and then at the end I'm going to write down select star from dbo dot sales and let me close the parenthesis as of now and as you can see we got this now navigation is this step is not needed now the edit column step is here and if I go here still it doesn't show the native query now to enable the native query I go back to this step the next item which is basically parameter I'll keep it as null and in the next option let me write down so let me write down in the square bracket enable folding equals to true and let me come out of that step now I can still see the query now let me go to the edit column right click and you can see view source query so it means the query is folding at the source but why don't we go ahead and test this out so I go to the home I go here on my SQL server profiler I erase everything I come back and let me refresh the preview you can see the query is folding so there are many queries we have to find out the right one so you can see the query is folding so this is the way the you can ensure that the query is folding at the source so you have seen in case of import mode how we are ensuring it in case of direct query mode when you select a table how can you ensure that in case of direct query mode when you're running a query you can still ensure that your columns are getting added to this query so this is how you can work on power query to make sure that the query is folding so why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this series thanks for watching this video thank you